Hello, it's Sky here. Uh, this is my little mu MIDI music studio. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate some work I've done with animatronics. I'm using my um, laptop here, which is running my um, MIDI software, to talk to the um, this control panel here, which is running the highly liquid module. Uh, generates output for various servos and things. Um, I've created this um, turntable here, and this wheel, which you see, sp see spinning, this clock which has got a servo control and this um, marionette which has a number of servos to control its move it up and up in various places. Um, so just bear with me and I'll get it going. Thanks. So this is the control panel that I built. Uh, it's based around this uh, highly liquid module here which gives me 24 outputs uh, with a MIDI input. Um, I got uh, this 8 uh, relay output board. I got that on eBay for about um, eight dollars, and uh, just a 12 volt power supply. I've got an amp meter there, so I know how much current I'm drawing, and a little board there which uh, steps the power down from 12 volts DC to five volts, which is good for crawling all my servos. This is my um, three station uh, turntable. Um, I built a little control board there, it's got a couple of relays there, a latching relay so I just have to pulse it to for it to index around in the bottom there it's got a couple of gears, I'm using a US Army surplus um, gear drive there to do that. This is a clock in turn, well it's just a spins around, gives me accurate positioning, I've done something which I think is quite clever I've got a servo there which I've modified to give me more than you know 360 degrees uh, rotation and I've put a resistor, multi-turn resistor on the outside so I can get 10 turns out of this and actually accurately control its stop start position. and finally this is top of the marionette it's got about five servos controlling the different limbs and a DC drive there to drive it backwards and forwards again controlled by the okay I'll run the show once again hit the space bar on the computer which will get it going you can see the cursor going there I haven't done much spent much time programming the puppets or anything the thing variable speed there and I'll turn it speed up stop it I do this clock where I modified a Servo. It's supposed to be counting down the days to Christmas, so this will be now one day to Christmas. We'll just stop there. So that whirly wheel again. We will speed up and then brake. Just a simple DC motor control bike. Yeah. The puppet. Oh, just the LED light show controlled by some relays. Going to berserk there. Puppet backwards. The turntable indexing periodically. I uh, built this little spotlight here to follow the puppet. Again, controlled by a little servo there to go back. Automatic lighting. So the clock will spin up again. Just go, I made it go backwards and forwards, but time to stop on four, four days to Christmas. Yeah, beautiful. And we've got our control panel doing everything here. The amp meter just show you how many amps I'm drawing. I've got a 10 amp supply, so there's no problem there. Another few indexes again. Everything's running off the cursor as it plays the song. It's causes different events to occur. There we go. We're almost at the end of the song. Let's just go back. Spins around. I not spend a lot of time programming the marinette. That's the end of it. Okay, finally, this is another uh, little device I, I built. It's uh, just a little track that's designed so a puppet can go round and around um, indefinitely. It's uh, I built it with two rails on the inside and outside to conduct the electricity so that um, 
the power is supplied through there. I haven't, perf I haven't finished this one yet, but it does work and I'll just give you a quick demo. So there you go, you see the puppet moves around. It's just got a motor there that drives a roller, grooved roller. It's got a plate there that I built sort of spring loaded to clamp on. The driving roller there it comes down the bottom, goes around, keeps going, comes back up again. load up a bit now I think I need to drive it with two rubber rollers you get slipping a bit there There's the drive mechanism there okay I'm just showing a bit more detail in the carriage that I built because a bit of work's gone into this um, I'm just using this motor and gear drive which I got off an old printer which in turn drives this uh, rubber roller there I've even got a ball bearing there on either side so that drives this rubber roller on the opposing side is this track here with these two rollers there which are grooved they've got needle roller bearings which are great and they're spring loaded just to provide a good tension on the uh, the drive track so that's the unit there as I said what I think I'll do in the next one is I'll, I'll have both roll rubber rollers on one side use the gear um, to give a bit more positive traction there but that's it as you can see Quite a good unit, which I designed in SolidWorks and built in my little workshop. <laughs>